Hi everybody, uh, this is Little Me. I'm back with the video. So this is my final video before I show you guys my uh, alarm or my box. So I'm this real quick because in about a minute my bus will be here. So uh, for the last about two years, there has been this worldwide hex on Donald Trump and on uh, now there's a uh, there's a hex on Brett Kavanaugh and stuff. Okay, so I was on Facebook and we were discussing this and one of the people made a point that is lost to this. There are a lot of forces out there that are working either for or against witches um, when they do this. One of the things that is definitely working against them is advertising that they're going to be doing this. We... Wiccans do not advertise, now I'm not a Wiccan, okay, but Wiccans do not advertise that they're going to be doing their work. Generally, their coven knows and they come together and they do it. Um, the, also, you know, when Gerald Gardner was doing what he was doing, there wasn't this, you know, people loved Hitler, people didn't love Hitler. Um, He pretty much was absolutely despised. So when you have people that do this, they you know they, they advertise that they're going to be doing these rituals, it gives the people that really, really, really love the target of the, the binding or the hex or whatever, um, all the ammunition they need to destroy um, the work. One of the, th it would have been a lot more effective if there wasn't an announcement that this was going on. Unfortunately, there was. And unfortunately, this is what's disrupted it. Uh, people can claim all they want that it was a success, but it isn't because he's still doing shit that he shouldn't be doing. But hexing and cursing someone is an ancient practice. The Romans did it with the cursed tablets. Uh, so it's not a new thing. And you, people can go and they can claim that, oh, you know, oh, this is against the gods and stuff. But people did it back then. But generally they did it by themselves and they understood the process in which it was done. Um, going and advertising that you're going to bind uh, somebody that is loved by the, by the Christian right... Oh, we're going to go and we're going to hex Brett Kavanaugh because blah, 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 blah. It ain't going to work because you've advertised it. And they are looking for the next time that you're doing it so they can disrupt it again. So you can raise all the damn energy you want, but because there's a block, it's not going to go anywhere. Or it's going to be a lot harder for it to work. Um... You know, I did a blue wave spell by myself. I decided to just create my own. And it was a lot more effective. Uh, and also I went out and voted, so that also, you know, helped. But hexes and curses, hexes and bindings do not work if you advertise to the whole goddamn world that you're doing this because there are people out there that believe that witches and all these other magical people are Satanists and this is proof that there's some satanic thing going on and all that nonsense. So and and also another also a thing is you also hurt um, pagans that are not um, a part of it because then it's like Christians equate all pagans with this binding or this hexing or whatever, and they will go and make that person's life a living hell. So, yeah. So I just wanted to get on here and just put my two cents to it because I really think it's necessary. So I'll see you guys around.